Happy New Year and welcome to the Airgun Show. In this week's episode, I'm taking a look at the Brocock Concept XR. But before that, I'm heading out for a night on the rats and it looks like being a good one. And there's another one. The temperature's just starting to fall now. Um, it's been noticeably colder the last few days. And the rats are definitely now starting to move in off the countryside onto the farm in search of food and shelter. Um, I've been here for about an hour now. I've shot nine or ten. Looking around the place in daylight, there are rat holes and droppings all around this end of the farm, so I'm expecting to shoot plenty more. Um, very quick run through the kit. I've got the, well, the Rotex RM8UC. 
177 caliber sub 12 foot pounds. It's a really robust little gun. It's a great workhorse, but it's also very, very accurate. Um, the night vision unit is the Sightmark Wraith, and I really, I really like it. It's well, it's got great image quality for starters, but it's also just really easy to use, which is obviously a great advantage when you're out shooting in the dark. Um, it has got Picatinny mounts, and all I've done is I've got the Sports Match adapters just so it fits the um, RM8 dovetail rail. That works perfectly well. Um, I must admit, even in these days of thermal technology, I really like infrared for ratting. I just find you get a little bit more detail rather than just those blobs of heat signatures and it shows you a little bit more of what's behind what you're shooting at, which is obviously really important, particularly on the farm. Um, that said, I have got a, a thermal spotter this evening. It's the Zeiss DTI. Um, it's not a cheap piece of kit, and I don't use it a heck of a lot, but I would say that being able to spot heat signatures when you're looking for quarry is a huge advantage. You can spot rats that are partially obscured, rats that you would otherwise have missed, uh, through the infrared so if you can justify the outlay it is a great accessory to have um, that's enough chat let's get back to it It got very hectic for a while then and there's a, a spot there around the stump of the tree that seems to be very popular um, and it's almost as if, well it is as if, the dead rats are attracting others and there's, there's quite a pile of them coming along now. Is where the spotter really pays off. Um, I have it set on very low magnification, this one's just on one times, so it gives me a really wide field of view so I can really see what's going on and obviously I've got the zoom of the, of the sight that gives me the precision for the shooting, but for this one you want that wide field of view.
well, I've had a few from that stump this evening, and um, obviously something attracted them to it, and looking at that last one, it actually seemed to be feeding on bird droppings. Oh, I don't usually like taking shots with obstructions in the way, but that pallet is less than 10 metres away and I really didn't expect some wisps of straw to deflect the pellet significantly and they were certainly clean uh, kills on those, those rats under the pallet. I'm actually going to make that one the last one because it's getting really late and I've got a lot of rats to get picked up and disposed of and uh, I must have accounted for about 25 which is going to go down really well with the farmer. Hunting we will go Another great after dark performance for the Sightmark Wraith there. Next up, the Brokock Concept XR. Brokock air guns have really evolved over the past few years and a lot of that evolution has revolved around stripping down design to pure functionality. Now this is the Concept XR, which really epitomizes that ethos. I think it's a great choice for serious pest control and prices start at £1,247. At 2.6 kilos before you fit a scope, this is a pretty light air gun and it's absolutely no burden to carry around the fields. Now it also features a very clever length adjustment mechanism which enables you to adjust the overall length from 810 to 900 millimetres. Now, apart from enabling you to get an absolutely perfect gun fit, that feature also means that you can pack the gun down to its smallest length for transportation. If you want really compact transportation, you can opt for the folding butt section as seen on the Ranger XR. Now, both options enable you to swap out the AR style butt section for different designs if you want. To make adjustments, you simply press down the lever on the buttstock and then it slides in and out, enabling you to adjust length of pull from 330 to 420 millimeters. Now there are six very clear stops, so you can easily locate and return to whichever position gives you the very best gun fit. I really like the XR's AK type pistol grip, which can also be swapped out. Now the one that comes supplied is really good though. It's got nice crisp stippling for an improved grip and its contours and angle set you up really naturally for the trigger. 
This gun's stripped down styling means that there's no forend in the true sense. That purpose is served by the cylinder. Now Brocock has managed to incorporate a really handy 10 centimeter underside Picatinny accessory rail for bipod attachment into the design. And you can also have twin side Picatinny rails as an optional extra. Um, the dovetail scope rails straddle the magazine and there is also a Picatinny adapter available for those. The Concept XR has a distinctly tactical look. Now of course that styling isn't going to be to everybody's taste, but it is extremely functional. Also, despite being a fairly light and compact air gun, it also feels to be very robustly made. The uh, 430 mm barrel is housed inside a fairly slimline shroud. Now that shroud does give some sound suppression, but I'm sure that most hunters will want to take advantage of the fact that it is threaded to accept a silencer. Rapid cocking and reloading is assured by a very slick side lever action. Now that lever is now adorned with an even bigger drop down handle, which makes for a really positive grip, which is especially useful for shooters who wear gloves. Now the Concept's cocking and loading mechanism has always been an absolute joy to use. The latest refinement makes it even more intuitive to shoot. A single shot tray comes supplied, but the Concept XR now runs Brocock's new self-indexing gate type magazine, which holds 13 shots in 177 caliber, 11 in 22, and 10 in 0.25. Now I've used this magazine in numerous different Brococks, and all variants have been well aligned and very pellet friendly. Performance gets a further boost from an improved two-stage trigger, which now features a match type blade that can be adjusted both for height and angle. The release mechanism can also be adjusted both in the first and second stages. Straight out of the box, this one had a fairly heavy first stage that came to a really distinct stop before a very crisp and predictable creep-free break. Located just in front of the trigger blade is a paddle type safety catch. Now most of you are probably bored of hearing my thoughts on having safety catches close to the trigger. So prejudices aside, this one is easy to use and it does what it needs to do. The gun is safe when it's over to the right and you simply nudge it across to the left when you're ready to shoot. The Concept XR is equipped with a Huma regulator and that means it's very consistent. The 177 caliber test gun is a sub 12 foot pound model and it's producing 11.6 foot pounds muzzle energy with a variation within five feet per second over a string of 10 shots. And that was with pellets taken straight from the tin. As for shot count, at sub 12 foot pounds, you can expect 100 shots per fill in 177 calibre and about 130 in 22. To refill with air, simply turn the collar at the front of the cylinder to expose the inlet and then plug in the supplied probe. Air pressure is displayed on a clearly marked gauge within the front of that collar. A power adjustment dial enables you to wind the output up and down, and you're obviously gonna get more shots per charge on the lower settings. Now, power adjustment is a feature that I think is really more useful for shooters that go for the high power options. And with this gun, that runs up to 18 foot-pounds in 177, 30 foot-pounds in 22, and 40 foot-pounds in 0.25. The dial is positioned just in front of the side lever, and on the review gun, features three very clear stops. This is a really accurate air gun. Now, I haven't had a chance to do very extensive ammo testing with it yet, but it does like Range Master Sovereign pellets. It's pellet on pellet with them at 20 meters, about 10 millimeters from center to center at 30 meters, and about 15 millimeters at 40 meters. Now, I'm pretty confident that I could improve on that with more experimentation with different ammo, but then this gun was well up to the task when I took it out on a squirrel shoot that we featured back in the autumn. 
I've been really impressed with the Concept XR, which looks like being another very solid performer from Brocock. Now, of course, its modular tactical styling isn't going to be everybody's cup of tea, but there's just no denying the benefits when it comes to shaving off weight without skimping on functionality. Now, anybody looking for a light and accurate air gun for serious field use would do well to give one a try. I even think it could well tempt a few traditionalists over to the dark side. I'm afraid that's all we have time for in this week's episode, but as ever, we'll be back again in a fortnight. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you aren't already a member of the BASC, have a look at their website and check out the benefits that you could be taking advantage of through Airgun Membership. Don't miss the award-winning Airgun Shooter magazine. It's packed with hunting features, reviews, tactics and insight to help you become an even more successful shooter. Get your copy today in shops or online.